Hey, 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 big fist bump to my fellow traders out there. How you doing today? I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot, and this is the first day of November, and it's Tuesday. Now, if you're not too familiar with what we do on this show, simply put, we look at penny stocks wherever they may be. What do I mean by that? Well, a penny stock is any stock under five bucks, and they can be on every single market, the NYSE, the NASDAQ, and of course, the OTC markets. But we do look mostly at the OTC. Matter of fact, all that news right there came from the OTC markets. This came from my research. I've read every single one of these. The oldest news is at the top, newest is down here at the bottom. Now there's no public offerings in there, no financials. Not that that stuff isn't important, but I like the events. I like the mergers, the acquisitions, new technology coming out. That's the sort of stuff I'm sharing with you. So enjoy. Now, because I do do a lot of research on the OTC stocks, I don't waste my time going to Google. I use this site, the otcmarkets.com website. This is the only site I know of on the entire internet that is updated every single day for every single stock by FINRA and the SEC, by the people that matter, with the information we're constantly looking for. So if you're running over to Google or somewhere else on the internet looking for information on an OTC stock, you're wasting wasting your time. Start here. Chances are the first time you find it, it's going to be right. And if you can't find what you're looking for, the internet's always out there waiting for you. All right, let's take a look at how our OTC market finished today. Uh, looks like the same as we had yesterday virtually. We have a low dollar volume under 2 billion. We're at 1.9. Share volume, we're not getting anywhere. We wanna get up to 10 and we're still hovering in the mid fives. 5.7 billion shares, that's all we did today. And trades, we can't get past 300,000 and we're hovering closer to 250. We've been stuck there for many, many months. So yeah, the market isn't doing anything different today than it was yesterday or the day before. But thank God there's always stocks out there climbing the charts. And I've got some to share with you today. Of course I do. But before we do that, I want to talk about a couple of stocks that we've already looked at, but you don't want to take your eyes off of. Not right now. So if you watch my show regularly, you probably recall that we talked about this stock yesterday, ticker WLAN, Wheelin Technologies. Now we looked at this stock even though it didn't have any fresh catalyst because it was still running after its last news press on the 27th and she's still climbing today. She finished today at 0 0.0073 with over 30% gains added on to what she's already done. And that price right there, that is her all time high. She has never been this high before. So we got nothing but clear blue skies over us on the charts now. Now the news came out on the 27th and there was two pieces of information in here that were pretty important. First off, they took on this Mr. McDowell as a special advisor. He was working with T-Mobile USA in South Florida and the Caribbean region, which is important as far as I'm concerned. The other piece of information we got out of this news was that the company had just acquired an exclusive license not just to sell but to build a patented streetlight fixture that can host micro wireless devices as well as improve internet reception and connectivity. It extends it from pole to pole all the way around the city and through the city. And they're already selling these. They've got some down in Mexico and they just made a deal down in Miami-Dade County. Now that is South Florida folks and that is where Mr. McDowell has been working. So I think this man is already bringing fruit to the table. So this is what's got the stock running for the last four days and I think she's still pushing right now. Let's take a look at that chart. Looks like she's still pushing to me. This is WLAN six month, four hour chart. And of course we are using my free trading platform. It's the only one I got. This is TD Ameritrade's Think or Swim. Sign up for their free trading account and they'll give this to you absolutely free and you can use it anytime you like. All you gotta do is keep your account open. It's just that simple. So we are looking at a six month, four hour view for WLAN. There's our high bubble, 0077, and she is towering above anything else on this chart. But I said she was an all time high. So let's take a look back to December of 2015. We are looking at six years here, folks. She is far above anything she has ever done before, at least twice as much. 
Coming down to our 10 day view, nothing was going on until the news came out on the 27th. And she was down here at about uh, 0016 and she went to 0077. Think of that as 16 to 77. So you're looking between four and 500% run in the last four days. She had 100% run the first day and has just been adding to it ever since. And the technicals are still hot. Everything looks really good on the 30 minute. Looking at our five day, five minute, well, she's steady. She's having that bounce in the morning, crossing the table. Bounce in the morning, crossing the table. She had a double bounce here, hit that high, and only pulled back a little bit. I see our 200 has come into the picture now, and I often worry about the price falling down to the strongest new SMA on the board, but she seems to be really hugging this 50-day SMA way up above the 200. All of our volume is real strong, and the technicals look like they're negotiating right now. She's worth a watch, folks. You might get a fifth. You might get a sixth day out of this without any more due diligence. All you got to do is watch it. Now, I don't think this next company needs a lot of introduction. This is TXTM, Protex Mobility. We've talked about it before. Twitter's all over it. The charts are screaming off and on. So it is getting a lot of attention. They did a merger not too long ago with a South African cannabis company. Now, this company isn't just working in South Africa. They are working with South Africa. One of the management has actually gotten an ambassadorship from the country to work in the cannabis industry. So they do have have some good ties over there. Well, today they had some big news come out, and as soon as it came out, the stock fell. Fell hard, so I think there's a good recovery gain here to put in our pockets. This is the news that came out today. The company is pleased to provide the following shareholder update and announce an initial order for 2.3 million pounds of genus cannabis sativa under a supply agreement. The initial order calls for the delivery of 2.3 million pounds of cannabis, arguably the largest single cannabis flower and biomass order in history. In fact, the substantial offtake agreement for an initial 2.3 million pounds is being delivered to a U.S. customer. Why? Not only for the quality of the product, but our cost basis is so competitive we can deliver product that includes freight shipping costs to the U.S. customers that is lower than they can get anywhere in North America. Wow! They've got a huge order and they're actually sending it to America. Now this isn't cannabis you smoke. This is hemp. Hemp is legal to go across the borders. Marijuana is not. So they got a $2.3 million order coming out of Africa into America. Wonder who's getting it. Let's take a look at that chart and see how disappointing it was today. So this is TXTM. We are looking at a six month, four hour chart just so you can see the halfway point on this surge. This was a giant surge. It was a thousand percent run. I've thrown up our Fibonacci so we could see the halfway point. I want to see the price stay above the halfway point on a giant surge. If not, it normally just keeps coming down. And as you can see, our price is above that 50% mark. So we are good in that regard. But coming down to today, well, a little strange. She was minding her own business all day, just going sideways on that 200. And then out came this great news about 2.3 million pounds of cannabis being sold to the US, the biggest order in the history of the world. And it falls, hitting a low bubble down here with just a little bounce back. And she's still under the nine day SMA right now. And the technicals say she's not done falling. So I would keep my eye on TXTM for at least a recovery. When people come to their senses and realize how good that news is, this shouldn't just recover, it should surge on. Keep your eye on TXTM. We're now taking a look at a SPAC penny stock on the NASDAQ. This is sticker B-R-E-Z-R, Breezer, also known as Breeze Holdings Acquisition. This is a blank check company, folks. This is the way it was intended from the day they came on the market. They have no business. They're not making any money, as you can see by their shell designation here. They're looking for a merger. They came on an empty shell company so that they can help another company get onto the NASDAQ and go public. And today's news is exactly that. She finished the day just under 15 cents with just over 150% gains. 
folks, this is a luscious price to get in on a SPAC that's making a deal. But in saying that, it's also a very scary price. Stocks on the major exchanges have a minimum bid price requirement. That means they cannot go under a dollar for too long. If they do, they'll get punished. They'll get yanked right off of the major markets and thrown down to the OTC. But they will get a warning from the NASDAQ. They'll get six months to get their price over a dollar for 10 to 20 consecutive days. Once they do that, they're out of hot water just like that. So what was the relative volume today around her big news? Not as big as I was thinking it was going to be. She's normally doing 61,000 shares. Today she did 800,000 shares. So I think there's room for a lot more activity and growth. Share structure. Oh yes, this was quite aggravating, folks. I went out and I was looking not just for the float, but also for the outstanding share count. And I couldn't find anything. I'm not saying I did a deep dive for an hour, but I did give it a serious five minutes. And I did find two sites that said 8.2 million in the float. But I don't know if it's accurate. So that's the best I can tell you. Financials, well, they're not making any money. They're a shell company, right? And disclosures. Well, normally when you get this sort of news, you normally get an 8K that comes out, which we did right here on the 1st of November. We have an 8K and a 425. But rather than jump into the filings, I'm going to go straight to the news. It's easier to read. So this is the news that came out today. Breeze Holdings Acquisition Corps announces definitive agreement to merge with TV Ammo. TV Ammo is an advanced technology manufacturing company focused on revolutionizing the ammunition industry through the use of composite materials. The combined company is expected to have approximately $76.8 million in cash and their estimated enterprise value is approximately $1.2 billion and you can get in at the low, low price of just 15 cents. Now. Using composite materials is going to make the ammunition lighter. It's going to be cooler and not hot. You're going to be able to ship it for cheaper. There's just all sorts of benefits involved with this. And this company has got over 300 patents issued and pending surrounding their products and technology. As well, they have recently entered into a landmark partnership with Bass Pro Shops. And there's lots of news here, folks. You can jump into it to get more details. But that's what's going on with this SPAC, this 15 cent SPAC that has a definitive agreement. Whew. Let's go take a look at that chart. So this is Breezer, one day, one year chart. We got a high one year ago of 30 cents, and right now we're half of that at 14.99 cents. She's been falling all this time, and just here today she has crushed the 200-day SMA on the one-year chart. Looking at the six-month, four-hour chart, our high here is 20 cents. She did break the 200 there and here, but she isn't staying above it today. She not only broke it, I think she's going to stay above it. Not just today, folks. I think she's going to stay above it for a good while. Our technicals are screaming right now. Our PPO, our percentage price oscillator, which is a lot like your MACD, but the MACD uses the full price. The percentage price oscillator uses a percentage of the price. Everything is shooting up right now. The only pullback we have is right here on our RSI, but she's still in the overbought area. Looking at our 20-day, one-hour view. Well, she was slowly climbing here, very gently on top of her 50, nudged herself up on top of the 200, and has been reclining there for a while. And today, she took off pre-market. She had a direction already chosen. Very early in the day, she hit her high of just under 20 cents, and then fell back to her 15 cents. Look at all this volume, folks. Look at all the trade compared to this day that day yeah those are days folks so not a lot was going on until today and i'm sure a lot more is coming five day five minute chart so she started very early in the day rising that was seven in the morning she hit her high here at uh 9 50 10 to 10 she hit her high she fell very slowly she was just creeping down she had no fear in her and she's crossed the 50-day sma and i get the feeling she's going to turn around i really do folks i think this stock is going to turn around it is a blank check company a spac that has been empty forever since they came on the market and they've made a definitive agreement with this company so they're going to have income now 
now. They've got a business. Everything has changed. Everything is new. There's no reason for it to fall except maybe market sentiment. But the company's got value now. Of course, some more DD is going to help. But I think she is ready to start growing and pushing further and further. What do you think? We got another stock here that was tearing up the charts. This is ticker CNNWQ Sign World Group. The Q at the end of their ticker, that represents the fact that they are in the midst of a bankruptcy right now. Well, they were until the news came out today. She finished the day just under eight cents at 0 0.078 with over 168% gains. She is pink and current. Now, Sign World Group is an international movie theater business. They have over 750 theaters in 10 countries with over 9,000 screens. So it's a big business. What was the relative volume around their news today? Well, that wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. They're normally doing 164,000 shares a day. Today, they did 716,000 shares. I've got to think there's going to be more activity than that. Share structure. I did look this one up and it's not any better than the outstanding share count. It is at 1.3 billion shares in the float. Just a little bit of difference between the outstanding and the float. So it's a real high float. Financials. Well, they're not going to give us anything over here. And I don't know if it's because they're readjusting their finances because they're in bankruptcy, which is probably what's going on, or because they're a foreign company. Either way, you can end up with this blank page like this. Disclosures. Well, we don't even have any financials over here to dive into and at least get a hint of what's going on. And we don't have any SEC filings at all either. So all we've got is news. And the sad part is there was no news here either. I had to go out onto the internet and search for it. And I did find it. This is the news that came out today. There's lots of articles that cover this. Sign World approved to tap $1 billion fund after settling with landlords and lenders. U.S. bankruptcy judge grants access to capital an hour ahead of interest accrual. Now, I read a lot of this article, and they say there was a $1 billion debt. Then they say there was a $5 billion debt, and I'm not quite sure which it is, but they've got a lot of debt. During COVID, they didn't have any business in all of those theaters, and they still had to pay rent. But how are they going to pay it without any money? And that's why they're in the boat they're in right now. Now, they do tell us that they are getting out from underneath this bankruptcy. And as soon as they do, they say that they want to sell. They want to look for a buyer and get out of this. Because, well, from what I gathered, they're just getting too much guff and heat from their landlords. And they think it would be better if someone else took over the business. So there's your news. A huge company coming out of bankruptcy and probably going to sell. Are they going to continue moving up on the charts? Well, let's go look at the chart and see what the technicals say. We are now looking at a six month, four hour chart for CNNWQ, but this really isn't six months. This goes back to September 9th. That's as far as this chart goes because that's when they got the new ticker up here. That's when they filed bankruptcy. They haven't been in bankruptcy long. And there hasn't been a whole lot of trading going on through this time. Each one of these black bars is a full day and we're only getting one price bar per day. So no, not a lot of trading going on. Today we had two bars, that's twice as much trading. But whoa, she did rip it up today. And look at all of our technicals. They are surging, they are rising hard folks. Every single one of them is pushing up. Though we did have a small pullback on the RSI, it is still in the overbought at 76. Our 20 day, one hour view, nothing for 19 days. Although we did have a burst of volume two days ago, but it doesn't look like it was worth much at all. And then today, woo we had a rise. She jumped here from about two and a half, three cents roughly up to eight cents. So you're looking at about 250% gains at her high. Technicals are still very hot. Looks like she still wants to continue rising. Looking at our five day, five minute. Again, we can say nothing going on until today. She jumped right at the bell and hit her high at what time? 10 o'clock in the morning, folks. Normally, I will jump out of a stock if it's running from the bell all the way to 10 because at 10 o'clock, there's a pause, right? There's a pause, there's a hesitation. Now, it may bounce back and continue doing what it was doing or it could just tumble rather than wait 
I just take my gains at 10 in the morning, 10.05, and I say thank you, and I look for another play. However, this one didn't go through all that, though it still would have been a smart move. She pretty much held all of her gains. She gave away a tidbit, but she stayed up here at 7.8 cents, just under that 8 cents. And the technicals, they look like they want to continue. Our RSI is pushing up. We got a crossover and a MACD about ready to happen. And our PPO is planing out, but it is above the pink right now. I would keep my eye on this company. As a matter of fact, I want to show you one more thing about this company that you might want to consider. This is the stock we were looking at, right? CNNWQ. These are their ordinary common shares. Well, this company has another stock that was running today. Yes, it did. It is under a different ticker, CNWGQ. Still Sign World Group. This one is at 19 cents and ran 192% today. Now, the difference between the two tickers, the first one is common stock. These are unsponsored American deposit receipts. What's an American deposit receipt, you ask? Glad you did. ADRs offer U.S. investors a way to purchase stock in overseas companies that would not otherwise be available. The term American Depository Receipt refers to a negotiable certificate issued by a U.S. depository bank representing a specified number of shares, usually one, of a foreign company stock. Well, that's not the case here. This is a one to three. That's why this is 19 cents. The stock is at 0 0.078. Multiply that times three. It's real close to this. Yeah, it's a little more actually, but this is three shares of that stock for every one that you buy here. And she ran hard today, up to 192%. So CNWGQ or CNNWQ. Both of them have the same news, both with the same company. However, one of the stocks is being held in a bank, the other one with the transfer agent. I don't understand it all, but I do know they can both make you some money. You know, every day we talk about stocks that are running and they really aren't that hard to find. You got four ways, folks. You got your scanners on your trading platforms like Thinkorswim. You can see who has the biggest price, who has the most volume. You can also look for whose volume is constantly changing and not sitting still. That's always a good giveaway. Then, of course, you've got the news. You see some good news? Go check out the stock. Look for yourself. Another way is to go over to the OTC Markets current market page and you can look under the advancers and see which companies have the most trades. More trades normally means more people, more price activity. And finally, chatter and buzz. Just go around to the forums. Which stocks are being posted a lot about? Which are being talked a lot about? Folks, there's a lot of information out there. DD isn't always hard work. It's just paying attention to wherever you're at. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.